Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing absolutely amazing again. We are back at it again. And today I want to play another Halo game. I want to be very educative. I want to be explaining everything. Yeah, I want to show you how it's done. We're playing some Master Yi again. We love it. We're going to have a beautiful time. As always, chill vibes. And today I have something special. Even I, I mean, I always said it kind of. Today I have some music in the background. And I would actually like to know what you guys think of it. Like, I have the... I have it in the description then as well, if someone wants to... If one does it. It's uh, The Last Samurai Warrior Meditation with Miyamoto Musashi. And I'm very curious... Yeah, do you guys prefer it without music so you can have your own? You just want to have no music so you can listen to my... All my thoughts, my ideas while I talk during the game. How do you like this kind of style? Would you want me to use it sometimes? Sometimes not. Let me know your thought process behind that as well as I show you my thought process in the game. Okay, so the game started. We're playing against Vi, Leona. It already looks pretty, pretty rough. Looking at our team comp, it does look pretty promising. <clears throat> Aatrox, we have AP, we have Engage, we have a very good bot lane, technically speaking. And all is kind of viable. You can play for bot lane, you can play for top lane, you can try to find mid lane ganks. This is a game where you have a lot of options and I'm going to show you exactly how you should be playing. Okay, we got our ward off. We got sweeper. We don't want a leash. So uh, usually in Hilo, people are not going to leash anyways because they know it's not that good. Yeah. But if they would go, I would then type. Make sure to not leash. As always, we know. Okay, Talia checks this as well. We see the, uh, we see the vibe. Really, really good. He was... Our chickens, Talia was their chickens. It's very common in Hydra as well. And there's like not enough, not really anything you can do in a jungle perspective. I mean, there are a few things like getting sweeper early or covering the bush. But generally speaking, what is the smartest is that you like, let's say you get sweeper and in the middle and it doesn't work and they late invade you. That's even worse, you know. So I'd rather have this option for the enemy mid laner. And keep in mind when he wards your chickens, it also means that they don't have a ward elsewhere. And you can just figure out something if he finds. Oh, my E doesn't show. Did you see that, guys? If you pause and go backwards, you will notice that my E didn't show. Which is a bug I have never encountered ever. It still doesn't show, no? Usually my sword kind of changes color. Maybe that's just on my end. But that would make zero sense. Alright. Could the top lane gank work out? Vi could be cheesy as well. Like usually what I do, as you can see, I'm playing very... Does my true damage even go through if it doesn't show that I have a sword? I'm playing very consistent always. It's like one of the fundamentals. Getting your CS before going for gank. Going for this top lane gank is fine. But if it doesn't work out or if I counter ganks or something, I already have a massive problem. And I see it is really inconsistent. And usually, like not in the early game, but in the mid game, guys, when you go for a sneaky gank, I'm telling you that you will get these ganks also off afterwards you see how close this was i almost got her there and we got a ward here i think that i want to get the sweeper down there i really never seen my ef never seen that bug ever yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna run her down This is Master Teilo. You see how easy that was? <laughs> he can't push further. Why? We see Vi on the map. Okay, she's level 3. Like, did you see what Vi did, guys? I'm gonna reset here. Not gonna cheese me. I have Noonkeeper back. Like, I go, do go play it from King sometimes. But in games like this, we have a Noonkeeper back. That is way too massive. And the enemies are all pretty squishy. So I prefer to go Noonkeeper early. By the way, guys, did you see Vi's CS? 
Now, why does he have 60? Why does she have 60 CS? Think about it. What could be the like? What could be her path? I'm gonna tell you. She tried the same as what we might have tried top lane of level three ganking. It did not work out for her, and now it looks very strange. And I just hard gap her, even though I just full kid, you know. So only go for these early ganks if you really can, and if your champion kind of makes sure that works. I'm gonna control this. I have no problem controlling this. I'm gonna go. St oh, bot cut is up. This is great. I could even do a sneaky dragon right now because I'm such in a good position and I'm getting hard bot prior. And I think I will go for it to be honest. Vice top lane. Okay, now it's even better. What is better, guys? Void grubs or dragon? What do you think? The answer is in 80% of the games, a dragon is better. Because both is a luxury. Void Cups are not that good. Keep in mind, it's it's nice to have, but it's not that good as you think you are. As you <laughs> as you think it is. Sometimes it isn't good, really. Sometimes it's completely useless. Usually it's just good if you have a good sieging team. Split pushers, let's say you have a trundle top lane. It doesn't really... Like, of course it's great on them, but it isn't, like, insane on them. Because a trundle will still be able to get the T2s eventually, you know? We're even without Void Cups. It just speeds it up a little bit. So it's nice, but it's not necessary. I'm gonna try to get to him. Okay, very great EQ from him. I'm gonna try to find a sneaky gank as well here. I think if I Q's over the wall. I'm gonna try to just run away to gank him. It's pretty half HP, so it looks very promising for me. Okay, he looks, walks closer, he walks closer. Okay, he's stunned. Gives, doesn't give the assist. The wave, now I'm gonna make sure the wave is slow pushing. Now you see it's not gonna crash under the tower. So that means it will slow push towards us. I will show you in one second. Wave management, another fundamental on the course. You see, the wave is now pushing towards us. So Talia gets more CS than Chase does. Even if it was a one for one trade, it's a pretty good outcome for us. If we take a look at the wave here. Chase has to push it and also it's nonetheless late. I can consider to help top lane here. I do have Noon Kiva still, I'm pretty strong. I want to see, maybe I can do something. He wants to reset. She's probably gonna play aggressive, I don't know what she used. If Aatrox shows, it's kind of obvious. She used ult, okay. Could be warded, could not be warded. Okay, use her E, I'm just gonna run her. I'm not gonna use the Q yet. I couldn't use the Q because of her W, and if I run closer, she was use the W, and I can't really get her. I'm gonna... Oh, he missed the cannon. That was not my fault. You can go top scuttle. It's not necessary. You can. If I think about it... What I buy here... Look at my... Like, I have perfect reset. Going for top scuttle is fine, though. Like, in then resetting, that's completely fine. Really well done from the ta from the Talia. Really lovely to see. She loses one plating, but that's completely fine. And now keep in mind, imagine the chase didn't have void drops. You would still get th this plating. Void drops is always nice to have, guys, but it's never a necessity. It's always a luxury. And dragon is also a luxury, yes, but you can play for soul eventually. And on Void Cups, having six Void Cups is decent. It's really good. Um, but if you compare it with Soul, it's nothing. Like, Soul is literally a win condition. Six Void Cups is nice to have. It's like a Bugatti, you know? Imagine you have a Bugatti. It's not a necessity, it's nice to have. Or is it a necessity? My future for my ink. <laughs> I might need to ult here even. I think I'm just gonna ult out. Vi is also behind. She does have ult. I want Aatrox come. Chase is coming as well. I'm just gonna take the plant here. Chase is also gonna come. But I do think we win this. Aatrox also has ult. Gwen has no ult. Wait with the Q. Wait with the Q. I got my Riku reset. Maybe he will kill him as well. I could take the plant behind me as well. And this is how you play League of Legends, my friends. Do you see with what patience I play this game? 
while I play, most of you guys are so concerned, focused, panic, panicked. Mohammed, if you see this, the pink elephant, that's an insider, guys. Look how I play it. Breathe in, breathe out, focus, think of the fundamentals on the course, have beautiful background music, chill. Not too much, slow, not too much panic again here. Not too much hype, not too much ego. Concentration. <sighs> and being thankful for life. Alright, let's go. Wolves into probably topside gank. This could all be warded. So we need to be a little bit respecting that. I would like to play for... Soul if somehow possible here in this position. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the course is in the description, guys. You can still get it for its current price before I increase it. And I will be increasing it very soon. I'm gonna try to just go for Dragon, but I want to get mid prior here first. Oh. I'm gonna ult here. I think it will kill him nonetheless. This is a funny champion. Oh, that was so crazy close. Ice bot, and I have to give the dragon here. I'm gonna go chickens into void cups, probably. As you can see, I don't have any bot lane anymore. And now I need to give the dragon, which is sad. He dies again. Yeah, Chase is playing it really well. If he EQs me, I'm gonna queue. We see Leona's trying to cheese me. I'm gonna try to communicate as good as possible. I'm W hit this bush. Need help. Talia STP. TP is behind. We need to play slow until Talia gets spot and play. An enemy has been slain. Okay, this one World Cup resets, the other is full chilling. What the actual fuck is this? I'm gonna try top lane gank real quick. We must fight this one. Doesn't seem too promising to be honest. I think she reset. Not good. Oh. I actually thought she reset, that's crazy. We do get her like that. This is really crazy. Why is top lane? Leona's also top lane. I want to get this last Void Grub, that would be great. Not needed, but it's decent to have. Because you need to keep in mind that Vi doesn't get the XP from it. That means that Vi, if she clears the first Void Grub, you get the bonus XP from the Jungle Evolution pet. Every time you clear a camp, you get bonus XP of a massive monster. And Void Grub, the first Void Grub you clear out of the three is always a massive monster for each jungler. Aatrox is old, I don't think I need to help. I think he's fine. From all my experience, looks like he's winning. Yeah, my experience is 1v9 once again, and I would waste my time. Reset. Getting a pickaxe here is pretty good. I can lane gank. See ya? You see, guys, I use the time efficiently. While I'm in base, I'm typing. While I'm in base, I'm pinging. I'm thinking, what can I do? What is my pathing? What am I gonna do next? Or, while I'm in pathing, I'm talking to you guys, so you guys can learn. Probably resets. Okay, she drags the minion a little bit so I can walk closer. I will not catch her. Maps Washington is passive. But I'm considering to kill this Chase somehow. He also is kind of too fast, but I want to play aggressive because Miss Fortune needed to base. I'm just gonna... Need to get distance here. I do want to fight this. If I didn't flash, I would insta die. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I did not expect the Vi to be here as well instantly. I thought I can get the chase cheesingly. But I should have used. I should have used the knowledge. It was kind of obvious that I don't have any vision on the map. So Vi could have been everywhere, also here. Oh, mistake. Harold is up, but I'm gonna path to bot side of old and 40. Flash and 
Two minutes? What does that mean, guys? What does it mean? Think, 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 think. I have no ult, I have no flash. What does that mean? I'm helping you guys out. Doesn't matter if you play Master Yo-Yo or any other jungler. I'm gonna be educate. I'm gonna be educational on every single jungler. For for every single jungler. Okay, the mid tower that we lose this is kinda illegal, but we got first blood tower ready. It doesn't matter too much. Wait is secure. Dodge this. So it's just reaction, but it's kinda also prediction because it's extremely obvious he's gonna use it, you know. So guys. I didn't go, I'm gonna give you the answer now, I didn't go for, for play. I need to get my camps. Look, while I have ult on cooldown, while I have my flash on cooldown, I'm permanently farming. You see, I did my full clear. Now, I did mid lane wave, I protected the tower. Could have done it a little bit earlier. I'm level 11, why is level 8? I'm 3 levels ahead of her, I'm in full dominant. I'm 10 CS per minute, almost. Why? Fundamentals from the course in the description. This Vi is master tier. She's top 1% of the best players in the entire world. And I don't even... I, I casually sh sit on her while talking to you guys, explaining everything. You can do the same, my friends. And stop blaming your team. Please stop blaming your team. I'm losing it. Your team is not the reason you are stuck. You are the only reason. You are not good enough if you are not climbing. And I will try my best to help you. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna cover here the Aatrox, covering your win condition. That's one of the fundamentals in the course. Dragon is about to spawn, but Talia is dead. So even if I do come, oh, I just get changed the seat to death. My mistake, I showed before I saw the enemies on the map. That's crazy, he almost kills him. Wow, he missed by everything. Like, he missed everything. He almost killed him, that's crazy. I've, I thought they are all bot side. We saw five bot. I think I also saw chase bot, so it made, did make, did make that much sense that they're coming um but i guess i guess they are still coming oh she still has ult what she still has ult that's crazy okay so so far we have played this game perfect this was the only mistake what we should have done is covered play slow play behind pl wait a little bit before going further Until we see the enemies on the map. And then we can go for something. I could have used Herald though instantly. That's what I could have done. I'm gonna get the bottom wave so I get my item. There's a ward. They see me now. After this wave, I have my rage plate. And it goes to the Titanic. If you bought Blade from King here as well, it's fine, guys. If you buy Mercs, yes, by, by the way, it's also okay because of the CC. I just don't like Mercs because they have 80, 80, 80. It's too much 80. I'd rather play very safe, let's just say. F very far behind, so nothing happens to me. Okay, Titanic Hydra next. Go together, I'm strong. I mean, I have my second power spike. Another fundamental I use, playing for your power spikes. Why doesn't have her second power spike? So I can use that actively. Zeri also has a power spike. This Aatrox has a power spike. So I'm gonna try to find ways how to use it. I seek Ven top lane, so I'm gonna use my Herald. My entire team is in position. I wait until they push the wave here a little bit. I can also make like a curve here, so it takes a little bit long until the Herald arrives. And W, what the fuck? She actually killed all of us in one nanosecond. The whole distance here. If she ults me, I can cue it, by the way. Vi is also coming topside. I can't cover. Like, now, the only thing you need to do as a jungler, how do you win this game? We can't team fight, like, right now. Oh, we can't team fight, but we can't skirmish. Like, every skirmish with two to four people, we hard lose because of Vi, Leona, change the C. So team fight is fine because they can't kill that many. And one we want is fine. So that's what you need to analyze. I'm gonna try to go for that. And boom, she's dead. Alright, I've queued up in one second. I can queue this minion here. This Vi also close. She's not close. I'm gonna take, just take the wave here. Okay, Leona's still here. I could be dying. I think I'm gonna be vice bot. I'm gonna try to push this. Not 
And this is how you play League of Legends, guys. We know why is bot lane. That's why I went for this. Because I know we win this 2v2. Because I don't have to change to see Leona and Vi. Titanic Hydra in 50 gold. Very nicely done. You can do it as well, guys. I know it's not hard. It took me a long time until I got to this level. But with the knowledge I'm trying to give you guys, you have the chance. I believe in you. I believe in your family. Let's do it together. Oh. This is not good. I'm gonna reset in this push, I think. I don't see anybody on the map. You see? We only see these three people. I'm gonna danger ping this. I'm gonna cancel this reset once, if, even though I really dislike it. I almost got my Q back up and killed them all. If I get some more there, that would be crazy. But I needed to engage like this. It was like I thought she dies before my Q connects. And then I would start on the position I started. Like I would finish my Q where I started the Q. That would be so great. We played it so well, but my old team is still garbage. I feel like every time I want to... Like currently my games, like you really feel that on my YouTube as well. Like the games are not easy. Like I have a griefing team every single time. Look at this. I'm 9-2. I literally played, made one mistake and that was this top lane play. Besides that, I played this entire game so far perfect. And it's so hard. It's crazy. But that's fine. Because if you play a lot of games and you have a good sample size, you will be rewarded. If I play a lot of the, uh, games on this Master Tier account with Master Yi and my main champions like Valworth, Charv and Kane, I will 100% climb Skyrocket. And there will be a lot of games where I will be losing. But there will also be times where I have more luck, let's just say. Okay, let's, let's try to have a cheese here now. Because with a cheese, we kind of kill them instantly. I'm going to W here. I want to run at her, but let's see if he goes further. He used EQ. Okay, that's great. But we just need to wait here a little bit. Okay, that isn't that good. I got hit a little bit, but that's completely fine. I think we are strong on 5v5. It's close. I need to be very careful. I mean, I'm pretty strong with my Titanic Hydra. Okay, we are slowly getting pressure. I don't want to give this dragon because it's soul point. I get my rage blade stacks now. This is massive. I got mid lane prior here. The enemies do a massive mistake. They give us so much prior with that we can just go Baron maybe. Or like mid lane tower. I'm gonna start Baron already. Why is still bot lane? This is so good. They don't know that I one shot it. I've rage back crack and combo. That's the core of Master Yi. I could be ulting. Holy moly. What is this guy doing? Master tier elo. Okay, we outsmited the Vi. She could never outsmite us. I'm way too calm to God for the smite. I could not have played it better. Like, it's just that Misfortune has three to four items. And ADC is a pretty strong role right now. I'm level 15. And I'm absolutely insanely strong. But I will get always 100 to 0 one shot as you can see here. Unless I had flash. If I had flash on this player, I would have won it. But mechanically speaking, I could not have played it better. Because Leona presses Q. Misfortune presses one auto attack. Minus 800 HP. That's just how it is. And we need to accept it. I have to say as well, guys, jungle is really hard in this current sp uh, season in comparison to the other season. Yes, I agree. But I'm also going to say I have an insane amount of fun. And and that's how we should see it. Like, I enjoy it a lot. Even though jungle is not the strongest, I will make it work always. So we can try to find a cheese again. Because I'm not that... I could be side laning. But against Vi, side is also not the best. Oh, 
Huge catch. I'm Wing for my ult. Have it longer. Let's see what happens. This is exactly the kind of cheese we need. We don't know where the enemies is. Because now we're getting more gold per second than the enemies get gold per second. We already have all the T T2, so there's nothing we can do here. We want to get this top lane T3 if possible. Chase is dead. It's a, their win condition. Nine kills. Only Misfortune needs to be dying. What was that? I think, I think Leona flashed. Need to get mid lane prior here real quick. Really good, we got this tower here. We do respect, I need my ult, don't fight. I don't want this fight, but let's see how it's going. Really well done from my team. Really badly done from the Vi here, that was a massive mistake. Hmm. I have my, I have a very good reset. But we, Vi is dead, I wanna use Vi's death. I wanna get bot lane prior. I have old and flash up as well. My reset is massive, but not the most important. I might find a good engage here. Need to focus. The owner's here, he will she will one shot me, so I need to play it slow. Okay, I couldn't talk, I needed to focus. Mechanically, let's go! <laughs> But this is how you play. So, let me tell you one life lesson, guys. If you do something great in life, you will not get rewarded. Yes, you wanted to know that you get rewarded. No, you don't. If you do something great in life, you will not get rewarded. Instantly. But there's a high chance that positive energy will come to you and eventually you will get a reward. So if you have acceptance of having bad teams, if you have acceptance of losing some games and having perfect games while losing, maybe, you have the perfect great uh, like p potential to go for great okay i i'm talking so stoic i'm i'm sorry guys and i'm 23 years old talking like i'm 80 i'm so sorry i'm sorry uh, i i yeah i mean why am i even saying sorry it's fine it's completely fine okay guys listen listen more content will come i will try my all my absolute best as always I appreciate everyone, every single one of you who consumes the content to improve also for greatness. And yes, as you can see, this was 21 LP in 185 LP master tier. Wasn't really that hard. It's totally doable. And let's go. All right. Good day. I wish you all the best. Take care. And if you want to improve as a jungler, check out the course in the description. It is the best content I can offer for you. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.